Allah told us in the Quran. And he said that وَمَنْ يَكْسِبْ خَطِيئَةً أَوْ إِثْمًا ثُمَّ يَرْمِ بِهِ بَرِيئًا فَقَدْ اِحْتَمَلَ بُهْتَانًا وَإِثْمًا مُبِينًا That the person who ends up committing a sin, either a khati'a, which is a major sin, or ithman, or any other type of sins as well. Whoever commits a major or a minor sin, whoever does anything that's wrong, and then after he's done that wrong, ثُمَّ يَرْمِ بِهِ بَرِيئًا Then he absolves himself of responsibility. He says, I'm not the one responsible for this. I don't take responsibility for this action. Even though he's the one who committed this action. ثُمَّ يَرْمِ بِهِ بَرِيئًا Allah says, فَقَدْ اِحْتَمَلَ بُهْتَانًا وَإِثْمًا مُبِينًا This person has, has fabricated a serious lie. And on top of that, he has a clear sin on his plate as well. Not just a sin for his action to begin with, but another sin because he's not taking responsibility for the wrong he's done. My dear brothers, it is really irresponsible for you to wrong someone and then not take responsibility for it. If you've hurt someone, you've harmed someone, you've done wrong to someone, then the right thing at that point is that you take responsibility for that action. You'll never be able to clear your slate of that sin unless you take responsibility. I know sometimes it's even, it's very difficult for us to take responsibility and stand up to the challenge. But if you don't, that's another sin. That's another wrong. You've done one wrong and you've tried to fix that wrong by committing another wrong. Because a lot of times it's very psychologically comforting for you to just turn the other cheek and say to yourself, this has nothing to do with me. But on the day of judgment, this becomes even more of a problem because now you have two sins that you've committed. One, the, the harm that you had afflicted upon someone else or the sin that you have had committed in the rights of someone else and now on top of that you don't want to take responsibility as well you and i are all responsible allah had created this heavens and and the and the earth as well these heavens and the earth as well for what for a reckoning for a day of judgment this is the darul ibtila this is the world in which we are tested on the day of judgment is our report card. I ask Allah Rabbul Izzati wal Jalal to make us from the people who receive their book with the right hand.